part 1 we have talked about the triangle law of vector addition and the polygon law of vector addition and we know the parallelogram law of vector addition also. Now we are going to have the proof of the law of parallelogram of vectors. We are going to find the magnitude and the direction. So let us consider standard parallelogram and let us have two vectors p vector and q vector represented by OA and OB. So you have OA as p vector, OB as q vector and now we are going to complete the parallelogram. The angle is theta between them. We completed two point C and now we have the resultant R is equal to P plus Q that is R vector is equal to P vector plus Q vector. Let us find the magnitude of R. For that we do some construction. We drop a perpendicular from C up to D and you just expand OA up to the point D. So you will have two right angle triangles. This angle is also theta because they are the corresponding angles of these two parallel lines OB and AC. So in triangle ODC, applying Pythagoras theorem, OC square is equal to OD square plus CD square. But what is OD? It is OA plus AD from the diagram. So you have OC square is equal to OA plus AD the whole square plus CD square. Now open the brackets so you get R square is equal to OA square plus 2OA into AD plus AD square plus CD square. Now we don't know AD and CD. We have to put those in terms of the known quantities P and Q. So we use the second right angle triangle that is ADC. Now in triangle ADC applying Pythagoras theorem AC square is equal to AD square plus CD square. AD is equal to AC cos theta also by trigonometry. So we will substitute these two in equation 1. So we get R square is equal to OA square plus 2 into OA and now AD is replaced with AC cos theta plus AD square plus CD square is replaced with AC square. But you know OA is equal to P and AC is nothing but Q. So we substitute to get R square is equal to P square plus 2P into Q cos theta plus Q square. So you have magnitude of R is equal to root of P square plus Q square plus 2PQ cos theta. If we have theta less than 90 degrees, then the magnitude of R is equal to root of P square plus Q square plus 2PQ cos theta. But if theta is greater than 90 degrees, magnitude of R is equal to root of P square plus Q square minus 2PQ sine of 180 minus theta. Now let us find out the direction of R. The direction of R, we have this angle alpha between the resultant R and P vector with the horizontal. Alpha will decide the direction. So we will find tan of alpha. Tan of alpha is nothing but CD upon OD in the big triangle ODC. Right angle triangle of course. So, but we have OD is equal to OA plus AD again. So we substitute it. Tan of alpha is equal to CD upon OA plus AD. In triangle ADC, smaller one, CD is AC sine theta, AD is AC cos theta according to trigonometry. Now we substitute all this in equation 2 to get tan of alpha is equal to AC sine theta upon OA plus AC cos of theta. But what is AC? AC is nothing but Q. OA is nothing but P. So substituting we get tan of alpha is equal to Q sine theta upon P plus Q cos theta. So alpha is nothing but tan inverse of Q sine theta upon P plus Q cos theta. Now let us learn about resolution of vectors 
over here. After this, finding the R as P vector plus Q vector, we are going to apply this in resolution of vectors. Now, what is resolution of vectors? It is splitting up of a vector into its components. Now, let's see how. So, suppose you are having an R vector here. We will just draw the X, Y and the Z axis. So we'll put it in a coordinate system. So you have the x-axis here and the y-axis here. In 12th standard and 11th standard, we are going to talk about only the x-y plane. But if you have a z-plane, then the position vector can be defined for r as point P. Now, the coordinates are rx and ry. If you draw perpendiculars, then you will get R vector is equal to OP vector and we have dropped here this becomes OA is equal to RX and similarly you drop a perpendicular on the Y axis to get OB is equal to RY. Now we can write the position vector over here with the angle theta. This is a small theta. The angle between RX and RY is 90 degrees. Remember that. This theta is r for the r vector with respect to the x-axis, the small theta. Position vector is equal to r vector is equal to rx i cap plus ry j cap plus rz k cap, where i cap, j cap and k cap are the unit vectors along the x, y and the z direction. Now, if you take only the xy plane, R vector is equal to Rx i cap plus Ry j cap. R vector is equal to R cos theta. Now see, if you take trigonometry, then Rx is R cos theta. Just look into the diagram and compare it. Plus Ry becomes R sin theta into j cap. So you can write the same equation, the position vectors. You can just substitute Instead of Rx, R cos theta, instead of Ry, R sin theta and get the equation. Now, this is a rectangle. So, we can use law of parallelogram of vectors to find the resultant R. So, you have the magnitude of R is equal to root of, see instead of P and Q in that earlier section, you have P as Rx over here and Q as Ry. So, the magnitude of R becomes root of Rx square plus Ry square plus 2 Rx Ry cos of 90 degrees. Angle is 90. Instead of that theta, it becomes 90 here. So, R is equal to root of Rx square plus Ry square since cos of 90 is equal to 0. So, we have that factor goes away. What about the direction? It is represented by alpha. That is tan inverse of Ry sine 90. That is Q sine theta. No? So Ry sine 90 upon Rx plus Ry cos of 90. Sine of 90 is 1. Cos of 90 is 0. So what we get is alpha is equal to tan inverse of Ry upon Rx. So what is resolution? You are splitting up into components Rx and Ry along the x and the y direction. So that's all for today. Thank you.